Jim here with my review of Archer and Armstrong number four. Now, if you've seen me review these before, I love the story. One and two were phenomenal. Three dropped off a little bit, but you can expect that because we're getting into the middle of the story. Four, I gotta say, was slightly disappointing because again, it seems to be dropping off. But the thing that I thought was weird is all of a sudden we've solved the problem of the boon. And I'm like, man, this is gonna be a long storyline. Well, oh, boon solved. Uh, that really came up quick on me. I didn't expect that, and I was a little disappointed. The problem, mainly, is that Fred Van Lent really wrote the first two issues fantastic, and now we're kind of getting the steady stream. I hope he's able to bring us back up, because it's all about expectations, and he got our level of excitement up, and we're just not holding on to it. I hope he's able to bring us back up. Archer and Armstrong figured out, they didn't figure out the boon. The boon was put together, turned on, did not want this. Last minute, Archer is able to destroy it. They accidentally, which is kind of funny, because this is the thing I do like about the book, is the humor. They accidentally kill a Geomancer, so now they're on the run, because Geomancer is going to come after them, and that's what they're gonna, he's going to try and do, is kill both Archer and Armstrong. Now, the cool thing is, is that looks like Archer's family's wiped out when the boon was turned on, except for Mary Maria. She's alive, Archer doesn't know that, and it looks like she's gonna be coming after them. So, although the Boone storyline ended all too quickly for me, it looks like we're on to another exciting storyline. So, I think that was my only issue with this. So, I'm still gonna give this book three and a half Nerd Skulls. Check it out.